Hi everybody, right, um, welcome back, uh, back to normal, back to me uh, trying to get everything done for three minutes. This time I'm going to tell you about, again, obviously it's space related, uh, how much thing, how hard it is actually for aliens to come to the planet uh, and how much rubbish is up there as well uh, that they've got to find their way through. So let's start with some figures. I'm going to whip through these quite quickly so you'll have to go back if you want to get write them down or something like this. At present... Uh, space junk. I'll come to the satellites in a bit, but space junk over over the ten millimeters, over ten centimeter in size. Uh, we are tracking those on radar for near near Earth misses and things like this, uh, for collisions. And there are thirty six thousand of those. Right? So you go, wow, thirty six thousand. When I was a child, it was twenty two thousand. Okay. Uh, on top of that, we also have uh, under the size of one centimeter uh, there is 1.125 uh, million uh, pieces floating around so now you're going to see how much so those are tiny little things flying around uh, so there's well over a million of those uh, we have uh, you can say you can probably say starlink okay starlink at the moment have 3055 uh, satellites in operation and launched already but they do have permission for another 7500 so you're thinking, wow, that's a lot of stuff. You know, if you're an alien, you've got to navigate all of this stuff to try to get onto the planet in the first place. So, right. On top of that, you've also got um, near-Earth asteroids. Uh, sorry, satellites. Okay, at the moment, active satellites, uh, we think the figure is 7,702. Um but obviously that's always increasing. It's never going down. That is always increasing. And then on top, and those are in a high orbit, low Earth orbit. This is where Starlink is actually in a low orbit. So that's closer to the Earth for the children. Uh, so you've got 3,000 there. You've got 7,000 operating actively at a higher orbit. Uh, now, on top of that, you've also got another 3,000 that aren't actually doing anything at the moment. They're either too old and they've shut down or whatever. So you've got 10,000 in there as well. So you're thinking, wow. <laughs> and, and aliens managed to get through all of this to land exactly where they are on Earth. Now, why didn't they have to land? It's probably probably like dinks and dink, dinks missing in the, in, the, in the paintwork or something. Right. So that's all the figures for that one. I thought I'd throw that to all, to, for everyone. It's questions I've always wanted to know. So, because obviously... When I was when I was young, uh, I remember the 1969 the the, the moon landings. Um, now, when the moon landings were, on, I thought all that all that stuff's been left up there. Whatever happened to it, you know? So one day we will have space junkers. Now, space junkers quickly on this one, but for the last 15 seconds or something, I will say that if you were a space junker uh, and you were collecting rubbish from space, th at the moment, if you want to send something into space, it starts at 50 million uh, sorry yes 50 million that's it 50 million will get you a package into space so you can imagine how much stuff is up there is diamonds rubies silver gold it's all up there on these satellites uh, if you can work work out how to grab a hold of them fetch them back to earth uh then you're gonna make a lot of money okay that's all that's that's a nice easy one i hope you answered some questions you've never even thought of before so have a lovely evening Ta -ta.